All right, guys, welcome back to another recap. Three stocks traded today, 350 profit. Small green day, but I mean, this seems to be kind of average now for me, 300, 400, 500 dollars. So it's not even small anymore. It's kind of just the usual, which is kind of upsetting. I'm getting a little bit frustrated recently in the last two to three weeks. If you go look at my reports on the recent, well, here's a calendar, for example, calendar. Usually I have three, five days in a week, in a month, three days in a month, four days in a month. June I had two, four, six, seven red days in June. And then July, I'm, I'm already at five days red and a little bit over halfway through July. But already five days red, so I'm not doing the best. I am green on July, so which is kind of weird because I'm kind of break even on the days. A couple of days are green, a couple of days are red. But my green days in July have been better than my red days so far. June was kind of the opposite. June, I think I had several thousand dollar losers. I think this day, this day, and this day were all over twelve hundred dollar loss. I still came out green in June, a uh, couple thousand, but I mean, it's just it's it's nothing that I'm that I'm happy with. Um, yeah, markets blamed into effect and stuff, but. Either I gotta change something, add more tools to the toolbox, I don't know. Um, maybe just keep it hanging on until the market recovers and maybe it is the market, but um, we'll just see how it goes. I do have a little guest in the background. Oh, she just jumped down. <laughs> but with that being said, I'll stop rambling on and go over to the trades. All right, so let me go over that Saito play. I forgot I traded this stock, honestly. I took a one stab at it, one loss on it, and then called it a day. I mean, I was looking for, I don't even know on this stock. Oh, $75 to break, 75 to break, and then see if we can get up to 89 and Maybe the stock wanted to open up to a dollar. We had room on the daily. Now I have a little daily chart down here so I can show you guys. We had room on the daily, and the 200 moving average is not up until a dollar nineteen. So I thought if this opens up, this one might get going. Unfortunately, the first stab I took, instant drop, down $90, called it a day on that one, didn't even come back and trade it. Um, after that, I went to APDL. APDL, I had a couple of good trades. I didn't take my profit like I uh, have been recently. I've been just kind of holding for the bigger move, and I think this market is the complete opposite. The, sin the second you see green on your on your trading just grab that profit and lock it in because if I would have done that I'd probably would have been up without the good trade up here without this good trade I would have come out of this section right here with at least five six hundred dollars profit why uh, why is it not showing my trades actually there we go so I traded it all in here and I was nailing the bottom of these candles perfectly like you could see kind of I've, if I draw a horizontal line through this area right here you can see that's where kind of candles are bouncing out of bouncing 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 once we broke that level we pulled back but if you see what this level is is between 146 and 147 and my ads were 147 146 150 152 150 over here and 150 there I had a high one here 154 but that's because at that point I was going for a breakout but I was adding all within down here at 146 to 147 and added on this play at the top of this candle I was up I think I think at one point I was up three hundred and eighty dollars or something like that I didn't grab profits came back I either stopped that break even or I don't know what happened I re-entered that trade back at that dip uh, pulled back up I think this one was a smaller play looks like uh, I took them all the way up to here I think I was up 250 or 200 dollars and decided to not take profits came back down stopped out at 51 so i made a penny on those trades and then same again here on these ads back here i re-added to both of these plays here and i am up again five six seven cents a share on 2500 which 10 cents would be 250 dollars so seven cents would be about 200 dollars so i was up another 200 and another up 200 and I never, I never capitalized them. I never realized all of those gains. Um, I'll go back and watch them and see if I, if I, I mean, maybe took half or something. Should have taken half, taken half. But the high of day on this stock for pre-market was 157. So here is that high, and that's that red horizontal line I have across the board. So in my mind, I was just like, if I buy in low, get up to 157. I might take some profit off, 
but I want to see this stock rip through 157, 157, 58, 60, 70, open up, right? I wanted this stock to open up, and it just didn't, and it came back and stopped me out on all of those trades. Um, my good trade on the stock, which is where the bulk of the profit really came out of, oh, actually, yeah, out of this, I came out with $50 profit. You can go back and watch my live stream. Out of those trades, after all of those, I was up $50 on the name. And I was like, are you serious, man? I could have been up at least 300 right? At least 400 and I never realized them. Speaking about live streams, guys, if you want to catch me, trade live. Live on YouTube 15 minutes before market open and tradecaster.com where it is also free. It'll ask you for a payment, but just cancel out of it. My lobby should be free. Uh, you don't need to pay. Uh, back to this. So $50 out of there. And then came back in here. Kind of attempted VWAP once, twice. Getting back to the same level of the 46-ish. So if I draw this line all through this area, that's the level, right? Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Resistance, resistance. Rips through that level. I buy in heavy, biggest size I've taken all day. I just felt confident about this trade. You could see I was buying 25, 5, I guess I took 5,000 shares there. 25, 5,000, 25, 1,500, 2,500, and then, oh, this one I took 10,000. So that might have been the trade that I was up another 300, $400 or something. Anyways, I jumped in 5,000 shares. So I guess not the biggest trade size. I took 10K there, 5K here. Um, took a big step here. I got filled at 150 on this second candle right there, and I mean within two or three seconds after I bought, instant pop all the way back up to 157. Um, I started taking profits on this one. I was like, I'm not going to let this stock pull back down on me. So I started taking them out at 153, 158, 162. You see, as that stock is going pushing higher, I am taking more shares off the table. 500, 500, 500, and then I had 3,500 shares left. I was really looking for the next leg up again, kind of holding that 157, 158 area now, and then keep pushing through that level. Um, but it looks like I took it out at 59, 59, and 57 and a half, 58. But uh, didn't miss much on that unless I would have held all day long and then they'd be up. But I will never do that. So, um, Kind of took another step here. Now I'm looking at 157 to bounce as support, taking dips off of 157. Um, I think I might have made a little bit more. Looks like I bought at 58 and sold at 64 and 59. So I made five pennies on some of those shares and one penny on the remaining of it. But that was this trade. Um, the other stock that was people were trading this morning was SIDU. And for the love of me, I could not trade the stock at all. Um, I tried it a few times, but it just it was it just seemed very choppy, right? It just was not opening up, and when it would, it just pulled back. And the one time it did open up, it kind of just held sideways and then flushed back down, right? This is a one good opening here, and didn't do anything. Um, I guess it kind of opened up here through high of days. Let me look what the high of day was. Something 80, right? 383. So 383 was right there. You got really close to 380. Never really broke high of days. Consolidated right below high of days. And then after that, um, you finally get that big squeeze, which I never took. So I had to take a phone call, so I, I, I paused it. Well, I didn't pause it. I kept recording, but I'll trim it out. Um, so it consolidated through this area. Um, it looked good on the five minutes. It was kind of riding the ADMA all through here, kind of making a flag. But this was kind of more of a consolidation than I would have liked. I mean, this was from uh, 9.35 all the way to 10.05. That's a solid 30 minutes of consolidation. Is that 30 minutes? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, 30 minutes. Um, that's a lot, right? For, for you to be sitting here 30 minutes watching a stock to do a breakout, I wasn't watching it, right? I tried it once. I tried it twice. Kind of was like, okay, 20 minutes in, I'm done with the stock. I let it go and then finally make some move. But that move didn't didn't even hold up either. Um, but the play here would have tried to get uh, low entries, right? Try to accumulate kind of like how I was on APLD. Buying the lows here at the bottom there. Could have done it here on SIDU. And uh, let me show you where. Right off this other pivot here of 363. 
if you draw that line at 363 right there every single time it came back down to that pivot of 363 I mean you could have gotten some shares below it it's could have sniped an entry there to the penny would have been hard to get this one you could have gotten it there as well another one to the penny 363 right there and then after that if you would have gotten those give yourself five ten cents of room for a loss and you would have gone definitely from 370 up to four four dollars because you won't be able to sell a four nine at four dollars that would have been 30 cents of profit so that's a three to one risk ratio to me um, obviously you never would have seen that coming and you never would have known that it would have happened it could have done something like what it's doing right now you're buying all these dips down here and then comes down and flushes on you but I don't know. I I think it's still a slow market, and I think either I need to be able to buy these dips a little bit better, or trade change, add uh, different styles of trading to my uh, toolbox. I think is what I said earlier. So, um, but that's just the part of day trading, the down parts of day trading, the the rough patches of day trading. But we all just got to get through them. And once the market gets back on track, once we get our trading back on top, get back our emotions back on track, we will be there making the big bucks again. So with that being said, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow for a new uh, recap or come on the stream and say hi and trade live with us. So I will see you guys then.